Hi everyone, this is Matt from TracyandMatt.co.uk and here I am looking at another product from the guys over at Lenovo. This is the IdeaPad Mix 10. Uh, it's a sort of an unboxing video for you. Um, I mean, I've taken just these bits out of the main box because unfortunately the box that we had for our retail our review unit um, has clearly seen better days. So uh, I'm going to start with, uh, well I'll start with at the bottom actually because we've got the smaller of the items. And uh, this is, as you can see, is the keyboard unit for the Mix 10. Let's move that out of the way. Um, and that does have this sort of featured uh, magnetic base as well, so that you can have it closed, you can have it set like that, or you can fold it all the way back and use it in tablet mode. Um, and various options that you've got for, for that. And with it, that nice strong magnetic base on there actually does hold it in a sort of more traditional laptop style position and inside we have connectors that actually pick up to um, operate the keyboard uh, on the tablet unit itself which can come to in just a moment the keys are sort of chiclet style they've got a reasonable amount of movement but it is nice and thin uh, if you can make that out there is a really thin um, positive feeling sort of well, more or less full-sized uh, QWERTY keyboard there um, so it works quite well. And put that to one side for just a second. And come back to the other box. So in here we have the tablet itself, uh, which you can see um, uh, for, has been out to be charged. But I'll put that to one side for just a second. Other accessories in the box we have a uh, micro USB to USB adapter so um, we can actually plug in full size USB devices via the micro USB socket on the um, unit then have a charger which is a small bullet style charger with a plug in you know, UK3 pin here um, it's got a one and a half amp output then some packaging well, it's there. We have the safety and general starter guide, general guide, um, the license for Windows 8. There, put it to one side. Uh, we then have the uh, quick start guide, uh, which tells us everything we need to know about uh, just getting set up for the first time. Um, and that's about it. The other end, nothing at all really. That's all part of the uh, where the cables and things would be. So this is. Um, a review unit so potentially has been out to others already uh, so it's probably our first sort of look at at it so um, I'll we'll just uh, push the power button on the top so on the front we have um, a 10 inch display um, they call it a high resolution 10 inch display but uh, it's 1366 by 768 pixels um, it is full, ca uh, full capacitive touch screen there we go, and it is powering up. We have a forward-facing camera there, which is um, it's only one megapixel uh, forward-facing, but uh, that's for you know, video conferencing, Skype, that kind of stuff um, on the front there. Looking around the outside, so to the left, you have an up and down volume control, which as you can see there actually affects what's on the display. We then have a hole there, which is one of the microphones, the cover. So on this side, we have uh, the um, micro SD HC memory card uh, slot so we can use external memory cards there the other side um, obviously here at the moment is completely bare but so there is a 3G uh, version of this tablet so that you can put in a 3G SIM card that would uh, go the other side there's a micro HDMI uh, socket there as well so you can output to a TV and then that's the space where we plug in our charger very small almost like that Nokia style uh, charge socket on the bottom we have those little uh, gold connectors there that do pick up on the uh, connectors on the bottom of uh, the tablet or the keyboard and dock unit so that's where they pick up and then we have a uh, micro SD uh, no micro uh, USB socket there as well um, that's where we can actually plug in that uh, micro cable that we have here or obviously you can plug in any other micro devices as well nothing on the right hand side at all on the top we have a simple headphone socket three and a half mil headphone jack and then the power button uh, obviously we've used already which is on the other side on the back there's really not a great deal to see there are some speakers there along the back 
um, and obviously the uh, all the information regarding serial numbers and stuff like that, Intel and Windows 8 sticker, um, but the speakers are primarily the only thing on the back. There's no rear facing um, camera on this model. Uh, so there we go with the Mix 10. Let's uh, actually just pop it into uh, the, there we go. It's very simple to get it in. You just pop it into the bottom and clip the corners in at the top. And there it is in its, uh, well, case. So it's a nice case. Uh, it keeps it nice and uh, clean, clear. Uh, we've got holes at the back that actually allow the, where the loudspeakers are so you can still hear anything coming through. And then we can use the magnet to actually hold it into position there in keyboard style or laptop mode. And then obviously you can swing it all the way around using tablet mode. And then of course we can pop the whole thing out like so. There we go. A little bit of technique there involved. And then that gets it out. And then we can use it in full tablet mode. The thing I like about these um, is it does have more options open to you um, than say an iPad because it is a full blown um, full blown OS, Windows 8 does have the keyboard or it could be used in a full tablet um, you know, with a 10 inch widescreen touchscreen um, which works quite well let's just pop into here let's just pop in the password there we go just let that start in, I mean it's, it is a full blown Windows, Windows 8 so um, you've got all your bits and pieces in here that you would you know, expect um, you've got your SkyDrive, you've got uh, Internet Explorer, Stocks, and various other tiles for all the other bits and pieces that you get. There are some uh, Lenovo specific applications that you get. Um, McAfee is included, there's a Lenovo Companion, and a few other bits and pieces that are um, specific to um, Lenovo products. Uh, of course, we've got the desktop, uh, should we want to go ahead and use that as well? And again, you've got a few other bits and pieces that are installed. In terms of the rest of the specification, let me do is just a very quick rundown. It's an Intel um, Atom dual core processor, um, although I don't know what the actual clock speed on that is. Uh, we've got Intel integrated graphics, um, for actually the display. The display itself is 10.1 inch, 1366 by 768 pixels with a five point multi-touch and that's perhaps um, slightly important, particularly if you're gonna be typing on the screen um, a lot of the capacitive touchscreen devices are 10 point multi touch, so in theory you could use all 10 fingers. This will allow you to only use 5, so for those that are using it for touch typing, using the on screen keyboard, which is there, that may be a point, maybe may a factor, maybe that, maybe not. Um, you know, typing with 10 fingers at once, uh, 5 fingers at once, you're probably, uh, probably going to be just fine, but uh, points to note if you are really one of these really heavy typing. You know, um, you know, very, uh, very into touch typing. Um, there's two gig of internal memory, or I should say, two gig of RAM, uh, 64 gig of uh, of storage in this model. So, uh, um, effectively, we're replacing the hard drive. It's uh, it's uh, flash storage, 64 gig, and you can supplement that with the memory cards, the micro SDHC memory cards will support actually only up to 32 gig, not 64 or above, um, just the uh, 32 gig models are on there. Um, so there's us back to our start menu. Um, in terms of the other bits and pieces, well there's a, 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 G, a 3G model, we're looking at only the uh, the Wi-Fi only model, so we support uh, 802 and BG and N standards, but as I say there is a what, optional 3G version. Uh, dimensions 265 millimeters wide, 173 tall, and quite thin, 10.1 millimeters thick. Um, not uh, not as the thinnest tablet you could possibly get, but it, you know, bear in mind this is a Windows 8, uh, not just a straightforward, uh, you know, iPad or um, Android tablet. So um, there's a little bit more to it. Um, Weight-wise, it's heavy-ish, uh, 580 grams. I think if you're holding it one-handed for an extended period of time. Uh, you know, you can kind of get to uh, get to feel that weight in your hand uh, it is uh, it is reasonably weighty. But um, you know, one of the most important things really is the fact it does have this convertible nature, where you can pop it into here and use it as a full-blown laptop with a keyboard 
um, and also have the flexibility of using um, it in just a tablet mode. Lenovo are very well known for actually having these convertible devices. Um, this Mix 10 um, has been around a little while uh, and there's going to be a new version available um, fairly shortly actually uh, just announced at CES um, there actually will be a, uh, a new version, uh, the Mix 2 uh, which will be um, updated with uh, various other features as well uh, there's also integrated Bluetooth 4 uh, and uh, GPS uh, which is pretty useful as well. So that is a fairly quick look at the IdeaPad Mix 10. have a review for you coming up over the next couple of weeks once we've had a chance to really use this. Quite looking forward to using this because I'm very keen and uh, I do like the, the Lenovo Yoga 13 that I've been using and uh, I've been quite impressed with that with its you know transforming nature in terms of being able to use it in sort of tablet and keyboard modes uh, or laptop modes so looking forward to using this. Uh, if you want to ask us any questions please do so via Twitter and uh, you can find us at Tracy and Matt T-R-A-C-Y-A-N-D-M-A-T-T or facebook.com slash Tracy and Matt um, perhaps, perhaps more importantly nowadays is um, Google Plus uh, you can find me I'm plus Matt Davis uh, and the number one M-A-T-T-D-A-V-I-S and the number one or our main page uh, which is plus L-E-O-D-E-E -E -E, which is the same as our YouTube page. And so I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracymat.co.uk. But for now, thanks for watching.